At five, every year, nearly 30,000 American kids, 17 and younger, go missing. Some are abducted, but many are runaways. It's still a nightmare scenario for parents. Well, tonight, a story you'll see only on WGN. Our Patrick Elwood tells us about one local father's campaign to bring his daughter back into the family fold. She was last seen November 5th, leaving South Elgin High School in the early afternoon. And 16-year-old Olivia Marie Morin's parents are naturally worried sick. They believe she ran off with an older man. Even if this guy is her boyfriend, he's pushing 21 years old. She's a 16-year-old impressionable girl. Robert Morin is Olivia's father. And since she's been gone, mom and dad have taken to social media to spread the word. She's not happy with life situation right now because we don't have the money to give her the expensive things that her friends have. While defined as a runaway, Olivia is among thousands who, according to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, drop out of their families' lives altogether. Last year, 27,072 juveniles left home. They are what's called technically endangered runaways. However, there were also 1,396 family abductions. 239 lost, injured, or otherwise missing kids, with 79 of those taken by non-family members. But in time, 92% of them have been reunited, if at least temporarily, with those families. However, in some cases, runaways get trafficked. Robert says his daughter is not too street smart, and he fears she'll get in way too deep. And that's 100% what I'm scared of is that, you know, she plays a lot more street smart than she is. So, God forbid she got in mixed in with some, like, thug dude. There's no way she's going to be able to talk herself out of that situation. And he readily admits he could have done more as a father in her younger years. We understand that kids are rebellious and they go through things. We just want to know that she's safe. You know, if, if, if there's nothing that she's going through or that she's upset about that we can't talk through. I haven't been as available to her as I could be as a father, and, and I'm guilty of that. I know that's part of the problem, but there's nothing that, that we can't work around. Olivia's mom and dad tell me that they got some information yesterday that she may be in Morton. That's in downstate Taswell County. That has led nowhere so far. They are really appreciative of all of the people, though, that have spread her missing flyer on social media. And the greatest gift of all, they say, for Thanksgiving, would be to be back in touch with her. Reporting from South Elgin, Patrick Elwood, WGN News.